Okay, so again today we'll be solving systems, okay? So systems of equations, that's so two or more equations. Graphing, you can find the solution by seeing where they cross. Substitution, you would substitute, say this 2x plus 4 in for y, and then you'd solve. Elimination, we're going to get to that tomorrow. Solution is where they cross, or what x and what y value make these statements true. The intersection, that is the solution. Intersection is a word you should probably remember. One solution means that it crosses once. Infinite solutions means that it crosses a million gazillion infinity amount of times. No solution means it never ever crosses. Independent is a system of equations that has only one solution. Dependent has more than one solution. Constant crosses at least once. Inconsistent, sorry, consistent crosses at least once. Inconsistent doesn't ever cross. Now, the worksheet for today, first off, put your name. Put your name. So here's how this worksheet works, okay? You are going to be choosing to graph or to substitute. You have to pick one or the other, okay? So I'm going to do an example of each for number one, and then you will finish the rest of the worksheet with whatever method you want to use, okay? So, y equals x plus 1 and negative 2x minus 3. So, x plus 6, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we start here. It's, this slope is 1 over 1. It's positive, so it must go up. So, 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1. And back down. So this is one of our lines. Okay, then we're going to look at this one. So it starts here at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. The slope is negative 2 over 1. It's negative, so it must go down. Okay, 2 over 1, 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 2 over 1. Okay, now we're going to find where they cross, which is right here. Okay, find the x first, so it's 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And then the y is at 1, 2, 3, negative 3, positive 3. Okay, now if you were using substitution, so it's y equals this and y equals that. So that means that they'll equal each other. So you have x plus 6 equals negative 2x minus 3. Now we solve for x. So add 2x. 1x plus 2x is 3x plus 6 equals negative 3. Then you got to subtract that 6. You should know how to solve by now. That's why I'm kind of going faster. Negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. Then we divide by 3 x equals negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So now that we have what x equals, we had to find what y equals by substituting negative 3 for x. So you can pick either equation you want. I'm going to pick this top one. So we have y equals, and instead of x, we put negative 3 plus 6. So we have y equals negative 3 plus 6. What is negative 3 plus 6? That is 3. Okay, so we have what the x equals and we have what the y equals. So the total thing will be negative 3, 3, because x always goes first. Notice we got the same answer. Okay, so you can choose whichever method you want for the rest of this worksheet. Some of them will be easier to do graphing. Some of them, like this one, is probably going to be easier for substitution. Okay, this one, probably easier to substitute. So you're going to decide which one you want to use. Okay. Let me know if you need any help. Good luck.